Hello and welcome to Mickey Art. So today I am going to be trying the white chromacryl with the red and the blue and the purple that I made. Uh, if you didn't see my test um, on the triangle canvas then I'll put a link in the description if I remember. Um, and I'm going to do it on a record. Now I... Um, and I'm going to do it on a spin. Haha, <laughs> my cool spinny what's it thing. This is a um, kids, what are they called? Pottery wheel. And um, so, uh, what I'm going to do is I'm actually going to gesso the center. I've put a little piece of sellotape on the back of the hole um, so it doesn't affect the, the shape of this. And then I'm going to gesso the sticker. Why? Because I have in the past had it where um, the, what's it called, um, colour of the sticker has come through the paint, which is not what I want to have it happen because orange is not what I want in this cut paint. So I'm just going to gesso it. As you can see, this is a really well scratched up um, record. I had an amazing awareness the other day that um, one of the, I just, sorry, what I'm also gonna do is I'm gonna wipe it down with alcohol and then I'm gonna gesso the whole thing. So while I'm doing that, I'm gonna tell you about the amazing awareness I had the other day. I've been asking for more records in my, um, to paint on and if I go down to the local second hand shop they charge me a dollar per record which you know compared to buying canvases that's that's cheap and yet um, I had the awareness that there must be another another way there must probably people out there that want to get rid of their records and don't need me to pay that much so I went on Facebook and if any of you are on Facebook you will probably have come across the marketplace that is available. I just wiped it down with isopropyl alcohol is what I was just doing. Um, and what Facebook has set up is kind of like a trade and exchange marketplace that you can put in that you want to get rid of something or whatever and people can contact you and blah 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 and um I was like oh I'll go on there and I'll if nobody's selling um advertising that they want to get rid of it I'll just I'll put a wanted ad on there and when I searched for records there was already a guy in my town Rotorua is not a big town by the way, for those of you that don't know it. Um, there was already a guy advertising Wanton Records in my town and I was like, oh. And initially I went to the question of, uh, oh, to the point of view of, no question at all. Um, oh, somebody else is already getting them. I can't get them now. And I was like, oh. <laughs> That's a lot of conclusion in that. Or oh, is the question, Michelle. Because in my facilitating business with Access Consciousness, um, we teach to ask questions, right? Okay, cool. what questions can I ask here? What's right about this I'm not getting? 
And I got the awareness to contact this guy that was advertising already. Well, I thought it was a girl actually, because he was using his wife's account. <laughs> um, but I, I had the awareness to contact him. And so I did. And um, I contacted him and said, hey look, you know, I'm an artist, just looking for some old scratched records. Do you, I see that you're asking for records. Do you ever get scratched ones that you don't want? And he messages back and goes, how many do you want? Now let me show you what he gave me. Let's see if I can tilt this over. No, I'm going to have to take you over there. Check this out. So there's about 200 full-size records there and about another 150 45s. So, and guess how much he wanted for them? Nothing. Zippo. Zilch. He was going to take them to the dump. How does it get any better than that? And he's like, I get plenty. So uh, if you ever want some more, just contact me. And I'm like, yee So you're probably going to see a lot more records being painted over the next little while. Let me just get this... Clean up a bit now. Alright, so it has got some scratches in it. And what's right about that? But that's what they are, they're recycled. So, let's see what magic we can create. I'm going to give this, gesso like takes about 10 minutes to dry. So, I'll be back once it has dried. Okay. So, it's reasonably dry. And so, what colours have I got? I'm using <laughs> my... I'm using three colours from Chromacrawl. I'm using the cool blue, processed blue, cool red, and the white. And these three colours are part of their starter sets that they do. Um, and so if you are just getting started and you've bought a set of Chromacrawl, then these colours will almost definitely be in them. Now what what I did in the previous video was I put in my white that I use as my negative space and the chroma curl it, it went really weird um, so I have mixed up the chroma curl white to see if it is the chroma curl that's creating the the weirdness or whether it is the um, the white and the chroma curl combo because although I get a little bit of the breakup sometimes um, I don't get as much as I got in that pour so so I've got the red and the blue mixed up and then I've taken some of each and made this amazing purple now this still does have some of the the white that other white my background white because I didn't have anything else made up at the time and I didn't think about the chroma curl white I'm gonna I haven't got a lot of that left so I'm gonna use that last but what I'm gonna do is get this baby started and get pouring. So I have I have got some um, silicon and the blue and the red and the purple, but not in the white. Uh, 
that's a lot of red. <laughs> and now that's a lot of blue. And now that's a lot of white. And then we have purple. And we see what shows up. get any cells coming up is the next question yep here they come love it so one of the things that I don't love about this method is the large amounts of blobs you get in the middle the big clump so what I'm going to do is I'm going to torch it. The cells are doing a great job of coming up on their own. But I'm just going to torch. Just getting the air bubbles out. Oh, look at those cells. What about in the middle? Can we have some cells in the middle too, please? This is beautiful. Holy Toledo. Now I'm starting to wonder whether there actually was silicon in red because there's only blue cells coming up. But that's okay, I love purple and blue. They look amazing. Wow. Yummy. I like it. Super busy. Check out how these two cells have almost made an S. I like that. Okay, I'm going to take my walls down and then I am going to get you down and show you some de details. Always take the walls down so they don't fall down and ruin anything or get paint on anything. And look, I've still got clean hands. <laughs> so if you want a clean method, this is it. So let's have a look. Okay. Look at these beautiful cells. They are stunning. Oh, yummy. There's that S I was talking about. That's cool. This is, this, this almost looks like a blue pomegranate. Check it out. All those little cells all crunched up together. Oh. 
I like this a lot. Wow. Yummy. Look at that. And you know what? There is very little red cell action going on. There's like two cells there with red in them. Other than that, it's almost like the red's completely disappeared. There's a streak of red right there in the middle. But this is a purple and blue painting. How's it getting any better than that? I love it. Huge, huge, huge thank you to Daniel. The, uh, the record man and um, you know he talked to me about possibly having a stand at record shows to sell the paintings that are on records and all sorts of different ideas and possibilities so where can you get ideas and possibilities from for your paintings for them to find their new homes that you'd never have thought of before how's it get any better than that um, so as I'm looking, I'm seeing those cells just continuing to develop. Um, so what I'm wondering is if I maybe give you 10 minutes time lapse in a few seconds and see what shows hit. Let me put you back up on the stand. Okay, so what, um, well, I can definitely see more cells in there. Um, and one of the cool things I can see, and I'm going to zoom you in rather than getting you down, is there is more red starting to show up in these cells up here. They're getting a red tinge to them, which is super cool. So let's just... Take you around a little bit. Another look at those cells. So I'm loving it. I'm really liking it. I'm going to put it to dry and see how it comes out once it's dry. Yeehaw! And oh, the other cool thing about this is it's not so busy in the middle. So then. If it make, gets made into a clock, you'll be able to actually see the clock hands. Um, I made a made a painting a while ago, a green, green and yellow one, and it was so busy. The whole thing was so busy, and it just <laughs> it was it was so busy. It was funny. It was I mean, beautiful. I love it. Adore it. And the people that bought it are super happy with it. And um, yeah. We had to go for red hands to be able to see them. Black, white, silver, none of them sh showed up against the busyness. So when you've got a slightly less busy area in the center, there's a chance you might actually be able to see the clock hands. How's it get any better than that? All right, guys, thanks so much for joining me. What other questions can you ask that could have the magic of free materials, um, more ideas on where to sell things and uh, what else is possible just keep asking what else is possible how can I have more fun with this where who can I talk to where can I go what can I look up on the internet that will create even more fun ease and joy in my life my living and my painting have fun guys I adore you if you like the video please subscribe um, if you want to see more of my work, then hit the um, yeah, hit the subscribe button, like it, all those things, and uh, I'll see you in another video. Cheers, bye.